If you are short on time or you want to send out a survey that's fairly common, then you can use any of our poly global templates that cater to a wide variety of use cases. For today's example, we're going to use a quarterly employee engagement survey template. When you click on the survey, you can see what a preview of it would look like in Slack, as well as the description of the survey and the questions that are in the survey. Now, if you scroll back up to the top, you can click on the blue add to my library button on the right to start using the template. Now you'll be redirected to your library where you can review the options selected and make any changes necessary before sending out your survey. On the authoring page, I'm going to toggle the audience to be the general channel, but you can select as many channels or members as you wish. As you move further down, you'll see the default options, the message to your team, survey type, survey delivery, frequency, schedule, and reminders, all of which you can change to fit your survey needs. For today's example, I'm going to schedule the survey to send at a later date. I want this to send first thing tomorrow morning, so I'm going to set this for tomorrow at 9.25 a.m. Now I'm going to review the questions in the template to make sure these are the questions I want to ask in my survey. Additionally, I can delete any of them, modify any of the questions or question types, or make them required. Over to the right, you can see a preview of what your survey would look like in Slack, and you can click on the slider to move through the questions. As you update the question order or delete questions, this will reflect in the interactive Slack survey preview as well. Towards the bottom of the questions are the advanced survey settings that come with a template. You can change any of them, such as making an audience responses confidential, which means that if you have any demographic data uploaded, it will apply to responses and filters and exports, but they will exclude the username information. Once you're ready, you can hit create survey and it will post on the specified date. And now we're all done here.